I'm here with uh, Joseph Williams and Peter Fistet at Fashing, and I first like to to thank you guys for taking the time for Inside Music Cast for a little chat before the gig. And um, I was thinking, Joseph, you you become a regular in Sweden in the last couple of years, but going back, how did you meet with Peter the first time? Um, to the best of my recollection, we I met Peter at Bill Champlin's house. Okay. Um, and I know it was in the 90s, or, or, or it had to have been, right? It was later. Was, was it? 2001, I think. No kidding. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. There you go. At, at Bill okay. Okay. I thought and it was 1945. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like that. And was it during the, the time, or was it after you, you studied in, in the LA? Yeah, Peter I was and finished, the MI? Uh, but, but I... I was just working on the first record and then Bill and I was working on a song and he said, wow, Joseph would be really cool to have on the song. And, uh, cool. Bill just called Joseph and we recorded that one. <laughs> Gotta find it, this is the song. Gotta find it. Pretty much means that Bill just didn't want to sing it. <laughs> okay. Gotta know him. <laughs> and, and this meeting actually ended up in a quite a collaboration and now you've done two CDs or... or I mean, well, we, you yeah, have... We didn't work for like six or seven years. Okay. Then I did the second one, and then we kept in touch. And, and Joe was here the first time in 2009, and we started working on, on uh, live shows from, from there. We've been here doing that for mm -hmm. that's five years. Wow! So two LA project CDs and the Williams Free Set CDs as well. Mm -hmm. And um, and the plans for new project together, besides the DVD that actually gets released today but any, any new album yeah well since you mentioned the DVD yeah there's concerts from last year where uh, Bill Champlin was with us yeah I've got to follow the dreams inside my heart I was looking for a fight I was wrong and you were right well, maybe we all need time apart I'm driving fast as I can so please understand well, yes I am Matthews yeah. and Tam Tamara Chandler Tamara, and, and everything. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've been working, we, we were working on before I came over here and I guess Peter's been working on for quite a while on a new album, a new project that will include Bill. And, okay. and uh, so it'll, it'll, it's, it's sort of, I guess, new material from the band from 2012. Wow. Exactly. So is there any scheduled release date set for, for that project, the new one? Not, not, not really. Not, not this time. It's a work in progress. Okay. Okay. We have most of the songs recorded now, uh, but I think it's a matter of mixing and, and getting some final edit, additions, fixes, finishes. Yeah. yeah. But you have been really active the, the last couple of months. I mean, a lot of touring. You've been in Japan and you even been on a boat cruise. Can you tell us a little about about that? What kind of project was that? Sure. Well, yeah. the, the uh, la last year in 2012, the, the few concerts that Toto did in the United States, which were mainly in Nevada and places like yeah. that, a couple in California. We had a guy who I had never met before who was working as our tour manager, just okay. making sure we got in and out of hotel rooms and yeah. cars and all that kind of stuff. A guy by the name of Larry Moran, and um, evidently I found out later after we were finished that Larry is a partner with this with a guy named Mike London, and they they book the they book um, bands uh, on these cruises. They're oh. they're they're trying to go into the business of basically making festivals on the water. Okay, <laughs> and so uh, they've done a couple of them over the last couple of years, very successful, all different themed. Okay. Um, and usually the theme is based on who the, um, I guess, the headliner is going to be. Okay. So on this particular cruise, when when we were on, when I was on the road with Toto, I was talking to Larry, and he was, I heard, overheard him talking about, you know, our our Caribbean cruise this year. Wow. Okay. And so I literally turned my head and said, "I'm going," just as a kind of <laughs> yeah. a joke, you know. Yeah. And he's like, "Great!" And I'm mm -hmm. like, "Well, what are we talking about?" And he, okay. said, and he told me, "Well, it's the Moody Blues cruise this year." The Moody, mm -hmm. Moody Blues yeah, yeah. Yeah. Voyage, or whatever, mm -hmm. the, whatever the mm -hmm. actual name of it was. Um, and it was, the Moody Blues was going to be there and be the main band. And then it was going to have a, a bunch of other different bands. You know? 
So Larry uh, um, invited me to come on this cruise as you know as myself, and did I have a band? And obviously I said, well, my band is all in Sweden. Mm-hmm. But you know, mm-hmm. if I can get them over here, mm-hmm. then then yeah, I would love to do it. Anyway, he came through mm-hmm. and uh, you know provided enough of a, a budget so that I could at least get the guys over there. Okay. Cool. And uh, unfortunately for them, the rest of it was just enjoying the Caribbean. <laughs> put it to you that way. You know, talk, talking about the band, I mean, there have been different incarnations of this uh, LA project, so to speak. But mm. but uh, this band this year, the only guy that seems to be, you know, coming back is Stefan Gunnarsson. But yeah. the rest of the guys are, are new guys. Right. Tell us a little about the, these. Fantastic musicians that you have. I'll let Peter feel. Yeah, better. yeah. The, the, these these guys are, are working with Ole Burrud, uh, yeah. Lars Erik and Frode Mangen, hmm. uh, and and uh, we also have Espen Mangen, Frode's little brother on on drums this year, who's a really good drummer. So, hmm. so we're ha- very happy to have them. It's, uh, it feels really good, and and uh, uh, Stefan is, is yeah. like a hmm. steady guy in the band. So, so. Yeah, you know, we were fortunate enough to hear you yesterday, and it sounds really amazing, really good. And um, talking about the DVD, I mean, I know the the fans in the U.S. would like to to make sure that they could get a copy. How, how will it be distributed? How? Before we go yeah. there, yeah, I just want to say after that cruise we went to Japan. Oh, so that's yeah. the chrono- chronological. That, that, yeah, just yeah. chronologically, just yeah. to, just uh, you know, just to tell you where we were. Yeah, we, the same band. And Japan was fantastic. Japan was fun. Okay. We, we had an engagement at a place called the Cotton Club, where it was six shows over three days. Wow, so it was fun. nice. You know, mm-hmm. It was a nice way to just plant ourselves at one hotel and just have the gig at the same place. Yeah. It was nice. Mm-hmm. So that was Japan. And that now, was. And Japan. now we're here. Now we're here. And now. <laughs> <laughs> and now the DVD. Yeah. yeah, the distribution. How will it be able for 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 US? It's going to be released worldwide, I think, on, on the 17th of, of uh, May. And, yeah. Uh, and the Sound Pollution is, is a Swedish label who's going to sell it all over the world. Uh, I, think, I think it's going to be available mostly on, on the internet, as everything is these days. You know, you have to yeah. order it from Amazon or, or uh, these websites that sells. So, is it products. quite quite limited? So, so that the fans have to be, be on, on track and buy it, buy it real soon, or yeah, it probably will be. Out of print in a year or two. Okay. We didn't print that many copies of this one. So, so it's a collector's item so in a way. All your collectors out there. Yeah. <laughs> we hope you hear this. Okay. Uh, and Toto, you're going out on a tour, mm-hmm. the 35th anniversary tour, mm-hmm. and you will go into rehearsals soon or? Yes, beginning of May. Beginning first, of May. Last week of May. I mean, uh, end of the first week of May. Okay. Getting back to tonight, what can the audience expect? Have you dug deep into the repertoire of, of songs, or, or we we actually dug deeper than you know? Okay. Um, we you know this this trip, you know, including I include Japan and, and the cruise and everything. Uh, we we built a a, a set a, a, a round of a 90 minute set, something like that, maybe a little bit short of that, based on what we had to do for all of these cruises. Tonight's a little bit different because we have two sets that we're going to be doing at Fashion here mm-hmm. in Stockholm. So we did have to dig okay. a little deep mm-hmm. Interesting. to find a few little gems that we could play. And there, there's even a song from your first record that we're playing. That's true. Which is really good. Oh, interesting. Interesting. Uh, just wanted to ask you one thing, closing this. Uh, Joseph, I saw some pictures from a local newspaper in Smörgen, the West Coast, last year mm-hmm. from here from Sweden, where you were out on a soccer pitch. Mm-hmm. And you seem to have a quite a nice touch hitting that ball. Are you a soccer fan? Well, um, I grew up in England yeah. with my brother and sister and mother and father. And, um, uh, you know, that was our sport. Football became our sport. I, I am... I am nothing compared to my brother. Okay. I mean, my brother can actually play. Okay. I mean, he can actually keep the ball from you. Okay. I'm just, you know, I'm just noodling. <laughs> I'm just sort of playing around. But uh, what I do know, or what I do know how to do, I learned entirely from my brother Mark. Okay. Yeah. Hmm? But it was all in from from our time in England when I was a kid. Ah, oh, I see. Yeah. So, you know, I, I just want to hand over a little gift since you're seem to be into soccer anyway and, and uh, yeah we got you this um, and we don't in our house we don't call it soccer we call it football you call it football yes okay that's cool that's the correct word it is the correct word the it Amer- is American football we call football but it's really pass ball yeah is what it is nowadays or run ball or whatever or or a, or a sort of a 
bizarre uh, gladiator form of rugby. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But football, it ain't, or it ain't much because they don't. The foot doesn't touch the ball very much. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, it was because living in England that it's that that's football. Yep. I can the, so, the word soccer makes me crazy. Yeah. I hate that. That's word. good. I'm glad we got that straightened yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> so here, the yeah. shirt says soccer on it. Right? No, 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 no. It <laughs> says first of all, you 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 gotta have a t-shirt. <laughs> you gotta you gotta have a, you gotta have a t-shirt from from the best soccer team in oh, Sweden. That's fantastic. It's Hammarby. Oh, that's so uh, this is a uh, from the Inside Music Cast uh, crew, oh, and you. you're now a official endorser of the Hammerby T-shirt. Fantastic! <laughs> that's wonderful. Thank you so Awful much. Stuff, I'm just gonna hate this. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, I won't. I won't wear it tonight. Uh, no, and you know they actually have a a, a coach from America. Click, huh? Hmm? They have a coach from America. Yeah. Uh, well, we won't hold that. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Wow, that yeah. Was really yeah. great. Thank you okay. so much. This and is this is like the, my kind of thing too. Okay. If I were going to go into a shop, this is exactly what I would grab. Cool. Very cool. So, uh, thank you so much for taking the time, and we're so looking forward to, to hearing you perform tonight. Thank you. Thank, thank you, guys. Yeah. Bye bye.